thank you for coming up and um, uh, I'll phrase it the way you like it to be phrased. Uh, you have uh, maintained your legal status. Oh. So um, congratulations. And that's that, that's not an, uh, an insignificant achievement. So that's a really good goal. Yeah, thanks, mate. Um, yeah, that, that, those conditions made it almost turgid today. It was uh, it was hard and especially we wanted to try and win the toss to um, have the win with us. But um, obviously we lost the toss, we really turned ourselves around. But that was really hard in the first half against the wind. Hard to get out. And um, overall, I thought it was just gritty and determined and look to, to get the result. Uh, that was great today, really. Yeah, and of course, um, what it means, like we said, in terms of the contrast, you can't have any sympathy for Carlisle coming into the game, like I say. But the case of two newly promoted sides, one, one's kicked on, one hasn't this season for various reasons. But, so could have easily be flipped in so many ways. You just don't know the circumstances. It, it's, it's really cruel, obviously, them to be really down. Yeah, I've just, I've just had 10, 15 minutes with Paul Simpson there, and you know, after the game, like before the game, you've got to get your head on it and, and make sure there's no sympathy. But afterwards, you know, they're, they're good people. It's a great club, and you know, it, it con contrasts, and you know, we've we've done well, and they're down there, and there's similar budgets as well, you know, so. It, at, at the end of the day, it shows how well we've done overall. What a way to seal the deal today, John. That goal from Ali Koiki was as well, wasn't it? Yeah, look, um, what we did today with both uh, him and Aiken was that was predetermined. Yeah, them today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, so we really looked after their, um, their build up, and uh, I felt that was really important that we did that. Um, <clears throat> I took Manny out, rested him out of the team today and just made sure I tried to bleed them back in. And um, Ali being Ali, he's, uh, he's like a young trialist who's just um, running everywhere and ah, fair play to him. It, you know, it, it was really tough for him last week. I had to drop him out of the squad um for various reasons because we played a team who had a lot of physicality and i just felt today was the right time for him and aiken to have 45 minutes each and the reason why he went on the second half he was probably a little bit ahead and the way they're doing the uh the minutes at the moment it's usually plus 10 minutes and it was only three today which was which was amazing but for him to have the composure and the pace to beat emmanuel uh one-on-one -on -one, uh, well I, I thought that was quite special. What about a celebration when you can that you might do himself a mystery, Have you been out for so long? Well, I don't want to talk about what he probably hurt the way he landed <laughs> there, but um, no, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I'm just really pleased for him. And just a, a more serious point about Ali, you, you've got some real competition next season, haven't you? Left back, left wing back. Patrick Gruff's had a great season for you in that position. Ali's back in, in, uh, in first team action now. That's a, a nice potential um, choice for you to make next season uh, in, in League One? Yeah, look, it, it, you know, we've missed him most of the season, to be honest, and, it, and, and Bruffy's uh, probably been overplayed. And then, uh, obviously, with his oblique injury, he carried on playing for us. So that was incredible. But in the end, he, he couldn't breathe when he played through that and uh, uh, he came off at, at half time here at the game and it was just too bad and um, he'll take time to recover, he'll come back but look, like I said, I'm trying to uh, uh, ease them all across the line while trying to win games uh, to make sure that um, I've at least got a few for a, a, at least a five-a-side game for pre-season uh, <laughs> training. Well, on that point, the managing combined with obviously still trying to finish strong. You must be delighted in the last couple of weeks. Three wins from four, three home wins, three clean <coughs> sheets as well against I I mean, really that, tricky yeah. sides. You were either right at the top or right at the bottom, really scrapping for something as well. Yeah, I'm really pleased because um, I, I feel it's down to the attitude of the players. It's, um, you know, they've been probably questioned three or four weeks ago about, you know, you hear some comments. They're on the beach, etc., etc., and it uh, really annoys me. People don't realise the 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 attitude and application this group have, uh, and then 
the derby game, they really rolled their sleeves up and when everyone thought that we'd get probably a hammer in, uh, we've stood up to them and uh, beaten second best in the league and uh, and no right to. And uh, overall, that we don't ever mean to have uh, poor performances, but they're going to happen at this level. I just spoke to Simo about that. He said, there's some teams that just blow you away at this this level and and it's been a hell of a step up he's talked about that in there with with me and uh and it has been a one hell of a step up but our boys have been mostly consistent and and their application has been fantastic and you know we're probably you know through that injury situation where i had to overplay people and like patrick bruff's just a typical example of putting himself on the line even when he shouldn't and he's gone out there and you can see him wincing in games and 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 it's it's all you got and uh but you know the guys have been exceptional all season and we just gotta try and keep finishing up it's like the season keeps lingering on well um next season you'll definitely be in league one john well i think we knew that already but you definitely will be so well done it's a fantastic um successful uh, uh celebration for you so well done Thank you very much. It, it, you know, and, and it's testament that everyone at the football club, let, let's get it right from uh, top to bottom. So uh, not just us, but uh, and overall, it's the players on the pitch. It's it's about them first and foremost. Uh, and they're the ones that have, uh, have really, you know, done brilliant. And uh, so congratulations to them first and foremost, then the staff and everyone, all the backroom staff. What a pleasure.